Hey guys, Sasha from Mobile Geeks. Yes, I'm still at the Samsung Lounge event here in London and looking at another, not another, but an ultra book that's the new Samsung Ative Book 9 Plus. Um, you will remember this design when you're familiar with the Samsung Series 9, but what they did over here is they changed the hinge a little bit. Let me just try to do this with one hand. Look at this. I think that's pretty cool, isn't it? And still, kind of stands in this, they call it a 118 degree um, mode or position, right? Um, it's not wobbling or something, right? Let me just move it around and just prove this. See that? So, traditional, well, what means traditional? It's a Windows 8 Ultrabook, of course, and you can easily switch back to your desktop. It is running the fourth generation of the Intel Core i processor. That's the Core i5, the Haswell um, generation. Not only Core i5, there might be even a Core i3 or even a Core i7 version of this one. Um, it comes with 4 GB of RAM and has 128 GB SSD. I'm pretty sure we will also see, again, Core i7 with more RAM, with a bigger SSD and whatnot. But what I find really interesting is also 13.3 um, inch, yeah, but look at the screen resolution. Let me just show you. Yes, there we go. QHD Plus. That's the wet dream of all you guys that are going to produce 4K content in the future. I just love this display. Look at the viewing angles. Absolutely perfect. So, um, I guess this might be one of the coolest altar books out there at the moment. Let's take a quick look at the keyboard. This device is very thin, and um, to make sure that you're still getting a proper physical uh, feedback of the keys, right, it is just crucial to really work on this. Um, this is fantastic. You can also see nothing is bending here. This is the high quality build, well, high end build quality, what you can see here. Huge left and right shift keys. A huge trackpad with integrated mouse uh, buttons, of course, multi-touch, and um, we should take a quick walk around the device. So we have, what's that? Is this a Kensington key lock? It is. Um, then we have a USB 3.0 display port, a connector for your headset. Here we go. Now I could see it. And on the left side, we have an HDMI out. Mm -hmm. uh, USB 3.0, PSU, there is a micro SD card slot hidden here. We have stereo speakers on the back end. It comes with a huge battery, 12 hours of battery life. By the way, this one is only 13.6 millimeters thick and it weighs only 1.39 kilograms. Um, <coughs> excuse me, what's also really interesting, it only takes 0.9 seconds to wake up, here we go, bam, it's there, and to start it and to boot it, 5.9 seconds, so that's really cool. Um, in terms of the build quality, that's a nice little aluminum finish, and I just love the look and feel of it. Once again, 12 hours of battery life with the latest Core i and a QHD Plus display. Um, do I really want to get a 13 inch right now or do I want to go for 11 points? I just have no idea anymore. Uh, I need to wait to see the pricing for the Samsung Ative Book 9 Plus and until then I'm still Sasha from Mobile Geeks and thank you so much for watching. Yeah.